treating the Astro's penis here. I mean, the Astro 30 here. Now, I've got this uh, little 50 milliwatt AM transmitter to build. Um, so, there's no schematic for it, no instructions for it. It's just basically a bag of parts. Um, circuit board's pretty, yeah, yeah, crap. Mediocre at best. Um, everything is marked. But, uh, yeah, it's not actually marked with any parts values. That's uh, handy. So, I'm going to need to find, well, some uh, more information on this because this is useless without um, a parts guide and there doesn't appear to be one. Right, well, looking on the eBay item, I managed to find, well, the overlay diagram which gives me all the part reference numbers uh, where the circuit board does not and I also found the schematic so I can match up what the part numbers are. So yeah, I've got the soldering iron heated up, all I've got to do is just install all the components. So I'll start with the resistors and the inductors because, well, the inductors are the same width as the resistors and yeah, we'll come back shortly. Just one thing about these inductors, how do you know which one's which? They're using uh, L1 which is 47 microhenry and there's two 6.8 microhenrys. Well, these type of inductors actually use a similar resistor color code identification. This one has yellow, purple, black, so you know that's a 47 and the 68 has a blue and a is that supposed to be grey? Yeah, grey I think it is. So you know that 6.8 and you've got a gold here. So it works the same as looking at a resistor color code. The gold would divide it by 10, so it becomes 6.8. And of course where the other one went, this one is uh yellow purple, black, in other words, zero for the multiplier, so 47. So it's not that difficult. Now I'm starting to notice a bit of a trend here that most of the resistors bar one, which is here, which is R4, all stand up by the looks of things. So, it, uh, yeah, it uh, is kind of, um, yeah, Reminiscent of old day electronics where resistors stood up on end rather than um, laid flat on the board, but yeah, it is what it is. Now I'm just looking for R3 on here and I can't can't seem to see it. Oh, there it is, all the way down over here. Okay, I've got all the resistors installed. It's got a solder on. I am thinking I probably should move the light. Which I might just do now. I've never met a more lazy f in my life, but that bastard that lives here, fucking all he does is play with his f computer all day f long and s well, all night and then sleep all f day. And does f all else. Well, he can take his computer, he can f off somewhere else, the fat, lazy f Fatty McFat. I really hate living with housemates because, yeah, you end up with people that are just lazy. Anyway, that's the resistors installed. Please excuse my rants, I'm just uh, having a little bit of a bitch. So actually next I might start with the, uh, well, these MK2, well not MK2s, uh, green caps. Um, so that's a 333, a 332. It should be marked on the schematic as a 332, which is C5, which is down, turn the board the right way around, is that one there. So, same sort of thing, just populate the board with parts, solder them in, cut the ends off. Uh, so, that's a 104, that's going somewhere, C14, which is... <laughs> up there 
and yes I'm putting them all the same way around so the electrons don't fall out. Okay so I've all got all those capacitors installed um, and the three inductors that's awfully tight that's what she said but as long as that resistor doesn't come into contact with that uh, inductor well this end of the resistor anyway should be fine so I've got this little trim cap here yellow one can't remember what value that is offhand um, 40 picofarad so that goes just here doesn't particularly matter which way around you put it. Okay, transistors and IC installed. I might now install this LED. Um, I'm assuming that that is supposed to be the flat. Uh, well, I can tell that because the anode, no, actually the cathode comes off of R15. So R15 is over here, so that means the cathode is here. That's a uh, interesting way of putting it okay so that means I've got to put it around that way it would have been nice if they had marked the uh, cathode at least or well the anode with a positive mark so at least we know which way around to put the bloody thing but I guess you just follow the uh, circuit diagram and the overlay here to work that out yourself um, I'm not really particularly fast at the how high this sticks up or its orientation or anything like that it can just simply be like that albeit a bit crooked so I might just uh, straighten him up a bit yeah it looks a bit more reasonable uh, it's not really overly critical it's not really all that important to the function either all it is is displaying that the fact there is um, power on the line Okay, so that's uh, that done. Now we've just got four parts remaining: a pot, uh, two input jacks, well, two, well, an input jack, a DC jack, and a BNC socket. So might as well start with the lowest profile, which would be this input jack. So this might prove challenging to solder. So I'm going to prop him up on that. Now, just to hold the board down a bit, I might burn myself in the process, but I'll just tack one end in, so I can do the other end, because I've got to fill in this rather large hole. You see, because there's uh, a really large gap there for a... Try and get some solder to fill it. Okay, so that's the input jack done. doesn't look very straight on the board. It has actually, it does actually have little locator pins on the front of it which don't actually line up with any holes in the board. So that's uh, nice. So I might just, ow, back him out a bit. Just so uh, it's straight. Now, that's about the same height. So I'll put the potentiometer in. Might as well. And this kit is nearly complete. It only took me roughly about 45 minutes. It's not that um, difficult. Uh, not having any schematic or um, overlay diagram to start with was a little bit uh, annoying, but we sorted that problem out. So I'll stick that about halfway. Yep. Uh, do the DC socket. Geez, they really fit in there well, don't they? That's tight. That's what she said. Yeah, I can hear it now. It really sucks working in your own light. I need a better light set up here. This is. I think I already said that. If I didn't already delete that piece of video. Because I don't know what I'm doing right now. Because I haven't edited it yet obviously because um, yeah I don't know whether I'm going to cut this down or not okay so the BNC socket get these two things started All right but two locator pins and 
the actual input and well the uh, hot side and the ground these don't actually go anywhere they're just blind holes so I just they're just there for uh, rigidity so that's it it is all soldered together I'm happy will it work I don't know I don't exactly have a DC 12 volt power source to plug into this or not an adapter anyway I don't have a 3.5 millimeter plug either hmm so I'm just gonna put that aside so I'm left with this uh, what to do with it well test it might be a good idea so um, back here this rear pin is the positive so what I might do is I might solder a wire onto that just so I can hook up some plier leads to a power supply set it to about 12 volts uh, twiddle me thumbs and hold my tongue in the right direction and uh, hopefully it works okay I've got some wires hooked up to it that the two white wires are the common or negative that's the positive power input plus uh, 12 volt and that's the audio input so now to hook this up to a power supply and uh, see what happens okay I've got it hooked up to the power supply I've got a AM oh, radio tuned to a dead frequency so I'm going to tune the radio once I've turned it on shouldn't need an antenna connected at this close proximity um, just to see if I can pick where the station is turn it on I can hear the noise actually. If there are levels here on the street, then we can. I think that's the oscillator. Yeah, that's the oscillator of this uh, transmitter. <laughs> <laughs> It should be somewhere in the middle of the band. Yeah, I think it's about... About there. Okay, so let's uh, hook up an audio source from the computer, for instance, and see if we can get some uh, music going through this thing. I'll try a better radio than this thing. That sounds a lot better actually.
kind of reminds you of the end title sequence to a uh, Clint Eastwood film. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm the Astro 30 and as always if you like this video please remember to rate, comment and subscribe below and you can always follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the links are in the description as usual. Anyways this is the Astro 30 saying see ya, have a great day and I'm not your Darlington.